Watch Dogs 2 is an open world still based action game and it's the sequel of Watch Dogs 1. The game follows the life of a hacker set in San Francisco Bay Area. Along with the campaign Ubisoft has also added a cooperative multiplayer note in the game. So all in one Watch Dogs 2 is a pretty good game to get into. What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things I know I will regret? I will make my own way. I will not surrender. I will do my best until I get put under. What if I go stronger? Dark Souls 3 is an action RPG game with a third person view similar to the previous two games of the series. Weapons generally include bows and swords and the game has been well received by both fans and critics. If you want to pick this game up also try to get the previous two games because all three of them are great games. Battlefield 1 is a World War themed FPS game with its main focus being on the multiplayer section but it still has a single player with a pretty good story to back it up. With lots of classes and more present in the game, this might just be a great choice for someone who likes a FPS game with a realistic environment. Doom is a first person shooter that features a pretty good single player and a good enough multiplayer according to many critics. Looks really good when you max it out. Since the first Doom was released back in 1993, they have come out with many sequels and I think it is pretty safe to say that this might be one of their best.
Overwatch is the best game of 2016 hands down, it's basically a hero shooter as people like to call it. The game features a lot of heroes you can choose from, with each of them having their own skills, which is part of the reason why the game is so good. The game looks very colorful when you play it and it is a great game for both the casual and hardcore gaming fan. If you are looking to pick up a new game, then Overwatch might be the go-to choice. Hunter lays a trap for his prey. 